understanding, put out to grass. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, put out to grass. This idiom might conjure images of lush fields, but its meaning goes much deeper. Stick around as we break down this phrase, its origins, and how you can use it in everyday conversation. Let's dive in. Put out to grass is an idiom that refers to someone retiring from work or being moved to a less demanding position as they get older. It's akin to the idea of an old workhorse being retired to pasture, where it can relax and enjoy the rest of its days without the burdens of hard labor. This phrase is often used in a humorous or light-hearted manner to talk about retirement or stepping down from intense workloads. The phrase, put out to grass, has its roots in agricultural practices. In the past, when a working animal, like a horse or ox, grew too old to work, it would be released into a pasture to live out its remaining years in peace. This practice symbolized the transition from active work to a more relaxed, leisurely phase of life. Over time, this literal practice turned into a metaphorical expression used for people. To fully grasp the usage of put out to grass, let's look at some examples. After 35 years in the company, Mr. Smith was finally put out to grass, and he's been enjoying his gardening ever since. Our old family dog, once a vigilant guard, has now been put out to grass, spending her days leisurely in the backyard. Remember, while it's primarily used in a humorous or affectionate context, the setting and audience should always be considered to ensure the phrase is appropriate. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, put out to grass. We hope this video has enriched your understanding of English idioms and added a new expression to your vocabulary. Whether you're discussing retirement plans or talking about taking it easy, this phrase can add a touch of humor and warmth to your conversations. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Happy learning!